always have the highest hopes going into a studio because you don't really know what in the first time you're going into a studio what your music is going to sound like through the producer's ears and their work. But this sounds really good and I think that everybody's going to like it a lot. Even though it's a little bit of a different style, I think it's a great improvement. Uh, this album was the product of many years of people asking us whether or not we'd eventually do a worship album. We wrote ten uh, worship songs, which is a different experience than what we had done before. It's kind of like all of our other music, but it's not... I think our other music used to be kind of all over the place stylistically. Like, we couldn't say that we were a certain genre. We'd kind of put us under rock, but we'd say, well, we're not exactly rock because we do this and because we do this. We had a different approach than we normally would um, because it was a worship album. So, like, melodically, there were a lot of ideas that we had to cut because it would be unsingable to a congregation. It was our first time that we were trying to write something that was simple and easy to learn. Um, and easy for the people to sing as well. Usually we just kind of catered to Catherine's voice and tried to write melodies that sang well for her without any real consideration for how easy it was and not easy it was for, for people listening to sing along. It was harder because like you might have this super creative idea like I want to do this with the guitar at this time and have the drums doing a polyrhythm while I'm doing like a different time signature and they all match up at some point. But then you gotta think, I'm bringing this to a church later on. How are people gonna follow along if they're not musicians with what I'm playing? And the whole purpose is that people will be able to bring this to their church and play it. It was like six weeks before today, or you know, the end of the recording session. I think we had like five songs half written. Some of them finished, but uh, definitely not completed and so you think like we're going into this we're gonna be recording in a month possibly it was just a possibility back then like we could be recording in a month we only have five songs half written how on earth is the CD gonna come together and so we practiced every single night for I don't know if it was like a month or more like these songs started coming and coming and coming and coming together and songwriting got more exciting because we were seeing like how much stuff was getting done. Over the years we've kind of learned how to work together more as a team, having the songs be something that the team creates versus just the individual. And this CD, it was a lot of nights where we'd all be sitting in the music room being like, here's the, the song, um, let's create different things for it, or here's the main idea, what do you think we should do about it? So we just worked together as a team more for the CD than we had for the last two. And so I'm just really excited for everybody to hear everything because it's all even kind of new to me to hear the songs.